look, we've all been there. We've all had performances or rehearsals where our bow just shakes like a ricochet. It's sometimes I know it's happened to me and it probably has happened to you. And in today's video, we're going to fix that once and for all. We're going to fix it right now. Okay. So stick around to the end of the video. We're going to stop your shaky bow. And if we're meeting for the first time, my name is Eric. I'm a violinist. Thanks so much for coming across the channel. I do a lot of violin tutorials, violin product reviews on this channel. And if you haven't done so already, if you're new to the channel, please make sure to hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notifications. So that way you get notified for when new videos come out. It also helps me out as a content creator to provide more videos for you. Let's talk about why your bow shakes in the first place. Well, it could be nerves. It could be uh, an uneven distribution of the right hand when it comes to uh, when you pull a sound, that could be an option. It could be all other sorts of factors that, you know, that I can't really uh, determine and really can't really like figure out in a two dimensional space like this. But I can tell you from my experience, what has helped me reduce the amount of shaky bow. First and foremost, I think you need to really prepare your mind as to what kind of sound you want. I think a lot of players, you know, they just focus on the left hand and they're focused on getting in, being in tune and making sure that their left hand is all looking, you know, sharp and whatnot. But sometimes we forget on how we envision our sound. So that's step number one that I want to encourage you to do is to envision your sound. Listen before you play. That's absolutely the number one goal. So really determine how the sound should be and then play. That's number one. Number two, you want to make sure you are relaxed throughout the entire process of the bow while you put the bow on the string and you're, you're relaxed from start to finish, you know, and everything in between. Now, Eric, how do I stay relaxed, you know, without shaking a bow? Well, take a deep breath in. And you may notice that if I take a deep breath in and then I play, all that tension, all that oxygen that I just inhaled is building up in my body. And typically what I w explain to my students is that you don't want to inhale, you want to exhale before you play a note. So what I recommend you do is that exhale and then you play a note because that is going to help release all the tension in your body and it'll also help relax all the muscles because the muscles receive all the oxygen that it needs and then you can finally relax. So that's step number two. Now, step number three, I talked a little bit about the unevenness of the right hand. So if I am pronated so much this way, which by the way, it's a, it's a Russian bow grip. I teach usually uh, Franco Belgian, Belgian Franco, by the way, I can't never tell if it's Franco Belgian or Belgian Franco. I think I've used them interchangeably on the channel, but leave a comment down below which one you find and which one you're familiar with. Either way, what I like about this bow hold is that it provides balance between all the fingers and I'm allowed to relax my hand while I play. And then if I do so much this, my wrist goes up closer to my nose and then I get a powerful sound from the beginning. And then once you get closer to the tip, if you don't have like a $10,000 bow, then you know the, the bow and the Pernambuco wood in that $10,000 bow will absorb all that shock. But you know, if you're someone who has like a carbon fiber bow or someone who has a bow that's maybe $1,000 or $1,500 or $2,000, then you might find a little bit of that shakiness. However, we have to work with the equipment that we have. So I've always said that your body is your strat. So if you have the necessary information to produce a good sound and to um, understand how your bow shakes and why it shakes, then you are one step closer to defeating it. One more thing that is pretty much overlooked is the elbow height. You might notice that my elbow obviously is really high. You know, you might see that Joshua High fits in a lot of his recordings used to play this way. And, and you see how my bow is really, my hand is really pronated for my bow. So when I, when I do it down, you can't really hear it, but my wood is kind of shaking a little bit, even though the bow is going back and forth. And even though you may not have a shaky bow during practice, you might have a shaky bow on stage because you are fighting your nerves. You know, once you go on stage, our natural human reactions of fight or flight really come into play. 
either you fight and play your concerto or you fly out. And we definitely want you to be able to perform to the best of your ability. So those are the steps that I would take to defeat a shaky bow. Understand you wanna balance bow grip, you wanna make sure your arm is not too high, you wanna make sure that you are releasing tension by exhaling out, and those small little tips will help you reduce your shaky bow. Now I hope you found this video helpful. If you have, please hit the like button, it helps me out a lot. And if you're not a subscriber, please make sure to hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notifications, so that way you get notified for when new videos come out. Helps me out as a content creator to provide more videos for you. And also please make sure to check out other videos that I have on the channel right on the side, and I hope they help. And I will see you in the next video. Take care now.